Welcome back to Nerd Safari, friends. I'm Simon. I'm Ellie. And if you enjoy this video, please, as always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell thing. We would really appreciate that. And before we get into this one, I guess full disclosure, I work for NBC Universal. I work on the streaming service, Peacock, so, but, <laughs> however, these are my opinions, they don't represent the company or the streaming service or anything. I don't get paid any more whether this uh, TV show does well or badly or anything in between. So, this is all me, not them. Um, so, <laughs> as I'm alluding to, Peacock is releasing a show that I, just the concept of it sounds really cool. The time period sounds really cool. The musical angle sounds really cool. And the fact that this is kind of horror sounds really cool. It, it's, I don't know, just sounds very Stranger Thingsy to me and feels like it might be right up our alley. We haven't seen anything of this yet, but it comes out pretty soon. So I figured let's watch the trailer for Hysteria see what we think about it. If you want to see what we think about it, then stick around until the end. But for now... Let's go. Let's do this. Chief, we found something. For tonight's top story, we go to Happy Hollow, where police are searching for clues as to the whereabouts of high school student Ryan Hudson. Sweetie, can you that point? Yeah, he's Black. in my English class. The cryptic message left behind has people asking, do you believe in the devil? You guys heard about Ryan, right? Yeah. Well, him being missing for one day has gotten more attention than me being present my entire life. <laughs> so you're jealous of a missing person? It's rock tradition. The devil has always had the best tunes. People are scared. You want to exploit that? We are a heavy metal band. Let's be saying this. Ooh. What if someone fell into something and, and we just didn't notice? Witness pure evil? Seriously? <laughs> I didn't feel the room, <laughs> dig I heard one out of five teens has been in the cult. There are many things to be afraid of in this town. Who here has heard the rumors about Dylan Campbell? Oh, hail the Prince of Darkness! Oh, hail the Lord Terror! I think there's something evil here. The greatest trick the devil played was convincing the world that he didn't exist. Oh, hail the Prince of Darkness! Evil has taken over this town. you can't see something doesn't mean it isn't there whoa is there any chance that some of the phrases we're using were authentic satanic verses we got them from the public library, not a book bound in human flesh. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, Hysteria, coming soon to Peacock. What did you think? It looks like a pretty solid, kind of fun teen horror. Yeah, I mean, clearly aimed at teenagers or people like me with the mental age of a teenager <laughs> who've not matured since the 1980s. True. Um, I loved, I loved the, the whole concept that we're in the middle of the satanic panic some geeky dorky kids try to take advantage of the satanic mm. panic by feeding into it and maybe actually summon the devil <laughs> like i just the whole concept of that is so fun um i yeah i so i love the concept i love the the musical influences here yes and the fact that you've got bruce campbell mm -hmm. who's just the greatest mm -hmm. i mean adding bruce campbell into any horror thing only cranks it up to 11 to make a little metal reference for you there um yeah so is is this the kind of thing that you would watch i think so this looks like fun kind of halloween chilling out watching it it really does yeah it, mm. i'm i'm not imagining it's going to give you too many uh too many jump scares um, but it looks like it's a solid slasher type of a vibe mm. but definitely looks geared at the teen audience maybe not the hardcore horror audience yes. but honestly if you want to appeal to a broader demographic maybe that's not a dumb move 
But yeah, I I don't know. I'm super excited about this mm. one anyway. I I'd, I'd heard rumors about it and heard people talking about it at work, but actually have never seen the trailer before. So kind of excited to see uh what people think about this one. Mm. Not a lot of people seem to know it exists, um but I wonder if this is going to be one of those Halloween sleeper things that uh, just blows up. Like again, it's got kind of a a Stranger Things vibe, but maybe not as high stakes as Stranger mm. Things. Uh, and I guess it's to be seen whether the characters have the like the the lovability of Stranger Things and the the geek attractiveness of Stranger mm. Things. So I, I guess we will uh, we will see. But uh, it, like you say, I, I could imagine us watching this on Halloween. You know, waiting for trick or treaters. You know, in costume, just having a good time. It just yes. feels like a fun time show. Hey, well, thank you for watching our video. We hope we were a fun time show for you. If we were, then like and subscribe, and we'll see you again soon, friends, on the next Nerd Safari. Peace out, nerds.